do? It's basically the bottom line is to develop a texting library whereby we all are familiar with sort of the idea of texting messages to perhaps game shows or to information services or whatever. I hope you're going to do lots of money in this, this, in this uh, scam the way it's on. But um, the idea is that you can send text messages and uh, get some information back and to vote for something, for example, or, or to participate in something. And most systems, and you're probably not aware, but uh, major phone um, companies, most uh, and so on, they develop systems for actually um, uh, doing texting. They sell this for tens of thousands of pounds, tens of thousands of pounds, complex bits of kits, hardware, which um, companies can use for exactly this type of um, process. But we, what we thought is, can we do a low volume solution, something that wouldn't cost more than 100 pounds to do something similar? So, two set out with a mobile phone, and data cables and links, and understanding communications and protocols, develop a library software. Uh, very nice software engineering system to uh, buy library software to develop a range of applications. So it wasn't just the applications in mind, it was having a nice modular, flexible, nice architecture, nice software engineering piece of kit to develop a range of different applications. Now, I'm not going to sort of show you all the code and set and done in C and it's a very nice piece of code, but I'm going to show you possibly more of the output and I'm going to show you a couple of the applications that originated from this. So just to give you some of it, so we've got a bit of software on the PC, we have a mobile phone, we have a data cable plugged to the PC, and that's all there is to it. So no more than £100 worth of kit, uh, probably less than that. So what you see here is the first application, and this is, a, as you see, it's a voting application. So I'm going to create a, um, a start with a, um, uh, and hopefully all of you know, I'm going to get mobile phones out, and maybe try this out. But um, let's start by thinking of a question that we can vote on, like some political or something, the weather, it could be something to do with um, the laws just coming out, the sports. Can we really think of a good question to ask? It could be something like a yes, no, or yes, no, maybe, or four options. Does, it, does anyone want to propose a question? Should there be a general election? Should there be a general election? <coughs> yes, no, maybe? <coughs> All right, okay, fair enough. So let's just try to catch this. This is exactly how you use the software that the student created. Uh, so election, let's put yes, for example. Oh, yeah, we no. And uh, this is just this, this make it complete, say, election. Maybe. Oops, can't spell. Oh. Right, so three categories. Um, then we're going to sort of create more, more profiles to attach to those categories. So uh, we'll see, we'll say, um, if it's yes, then. Uh, so this is really what you put text in. So if it's yes, then we'll want to assign that to the uh, election yes. And similarly, we're going to create some, some variants as well, so the case with the various uh, different formats you can actually input. So let's just do a few of those. Let's do the variant. <coughs> let's just show the variation. Do something similar as well to the no. Of course, you only have to do this process once, but then forever you'll actually do the post before. I've got the storage if you want to. Repeat the voting system and do it maybe. Let's do the application actually sufficient, I think. Okay, I'm just going to set up a couple of things here just to keep things uh, running. Uh, just that, stop that, reverse, show that, and go to the activate system now. So, the system is now pretty much set up to be ready to use, and of course now you use a number to be able to text to. So the number is actually printed here. That's actually where you wish you can actually participate and actually um, try voting. So uh, that's the number you need to text to. I'm going to try it as well. So feel free to get your phones out. We've got lots of lucid messages from you try and use. Um, we won't keep your numbers. There's no data protection issues uh, on this. But do please see the send that text. Yeah. Yes, no, maybe. We'll see what happens to the. Um, um, the uh, three. See exactly what's going on. Now the key thing is, messages are coming to the phone. Library software is decoding the messages in real time as they come through the phone system, or through the phone, coming off the phone, being decoded, and the act, any actions that are necessary attached to those phones then obviously um, you know, take effect and you know, those phones going going on. So at the moment, obviously one, no, two, maybe. Oh, so sort of maybe. Do you have a bit of time for this? Apologies for that. But also, I think there's at least one lady there. I don't know why that wasn't um, uh, triggered. But anyway, this three no's and two 
uh, messes are registering. But the key thing is, it's very flexible. It won't handle great void for text messages, but it's a very, very cheap resource. And you can probably envision a whole range of um, good Google demo application using very, very cheap uh, available technology. But the key thing is, the student had to understand the communications protocols, had to understand how to communicate with the phone, and how to decode the messages and inform actions based on, um, based on those uh, inputs. <coughs> I think we're pretty clear then that no is the uh, no is the no is the win option. Does that tally with the, whoever who proposed the question? Does that tally with your expectation? <laughs> right. Okay. But any questions on this application actually before we can change to another example? Okay. Now, so this is also so just one application you could develop. Uh, you could use technology for. Let me just stop this one. Uh, and go to a completely different one. Okay. So what this is going to do here is uh, show an example. I'm going to sort of set up a couple of things here just to So this is going to uh, show again using the same library of software control remote device or the devices remotely. So I'm going to configure again a couple of items here to use the software for. So I'm going to say something like uh, on. We do, we do a very simple example just to illustrate the uh, concept. And <coughs> now of course, let's say because this is to do with controlling devices remotely, you wouldn't want anybody in the world to go to jump to allow me to do it. Uh, of course you can add up as in as you wish. Um, so one to one, so same number as before, that, and hopefully, if you think this process all works, something over here should switch on to process. So sending messages, message send, is it actually components to switch on plugged into different uh, sockets? So control time applications, not just one device, uh, I'll just do the same thing again. And um, again, you can see the idea, but it's very, very useful to set up a very practical application. You can switch the copy box on and switch to other normal things before you can go home. The key concept is it's generic, so it's a technically controlled application that you can use for a whole range of purposes. Again, okay, the whole thing is, uh, the whole point is that the student is from scratch, didn't have any prior software, no prior knowledge of the communications that they was needed, so we're going to take everything from scratch and see those as plus. So, and you know, I think it's quite a it's a marketable application. You can actually market this in some way for uh, useful purposes. Um, the two projects this year actually do something similar, but we're sending it to be much more multimedia, so using video messages. Those of you, those of you who use Facebook or so on, so on, but probably now that you can actually upload uh, an image or video directly from your mobile phone to Facebook, we use a similar kind of technology. We actually have to interpret the image or video, understand who it's from, what that where it's going to, and actually do the deployment. Website. So those kinds of applications are becoming more uh, in generic and uh, more prevalent in the, uh, in, in, the, in the area. Okay, are there any questions on um, on this, what you've seen so far? I have some more voting questions. Okay, 